Wow, I did all of them. I did all of them. All of them. So, Clan Crowfoot. That's my only token left. Everything else is just coming down to being new. But Purgatory, Raider Prevention, Scouting Party, Spyglass, Street Fighter, The Underneath, Toshers, Wandering Tracker. I still have an entire hand worth of new encounters I haven't done yet. So there's that. Let's see here. I need to draw equipment card. Could do Merchant's Favor. There we go. I, want, I need to draw my questing mace so I can use it to deck the crap out of people. I know what you guys are. Let's learn what one of these is, huh? Let's do Reaper's Arrow, because I'm trying to use the questing mace, so let's not do a weapon. That's the only new one. Where's the questing mace? Is it a supply item? What? Really? What? That's like too powerful. Why would I... I don't even, actually haven't even looked at the worker's hammer, so I don't know how powerful it is. It might be just as strong. I mean, this is already a 23 damage heavy one, too. Yeah, Retha's Ire is just kind of pointless now, isn't it? Oh well, this is a really easy challenge, so let's go get it. Um, I wish I could know what the other one was without having to check manually. Yeah, this is Repost 25 Thieves. That would take a bit of work and set up and being in a specific scenario a bit. Defeat Thieves is not really a thing here. And that's Corrupted. Defeat 50 corrupted enemies in one run. Oh, and not, maybe not in one run. This is 4 or 50. Maybe it sticks it out. I would need Dark Thirst during the big anti-infected one, basically. That one's, abs that one's absurd. Anyway. I guess I've discovered most of my items now, huh? I guess so. The deck is absurdly big now, by the way. There's like too much to it. It's getting it's getting excessive. You do like that one, don't you? You do like that one, don't you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't even know what I want. I'm like Sure. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm fine. I'm starting with a weapon. I'm probably going to use the entire run. Don't really need equipment, generally. I'm not crazy, am I? Like, I beat... I beat it now, right? I guess what throws me for a loop is that I th I just like I thought I don't I don't see it. I'm hope I'm I hope I'm not going too fast. I thought that'd be like a scenario. It might literally just be you have to defeat the questing maces objective and that's it. I don't know even which category I'd check for that. I think you just have to do the questing mace. Alright. Well, back in we go. I'm gonna quest the shit out of things with this mace. Defeating 15 enemies is so easy that I think... What's gonna happen is some sort of difficult scenario is going to spawn in on that very floor, I think. And that'll be the surprise, probably. Questing mace equipped. Distressed damsel. Yeah, I'll, I'll assist you, because if, if, if this goes poorly, I get ambushed, right? Back to the bones. Nah. Uh, I hope you have learned to be there. I think master. I just I think I just get stuff for free. Yeah. Dang it. Oh well. I want I wanted the fight. <laughs> Hi. 
Reaper's Arrow, Death's Touch, inflict 200 damage to a living enemy when activated. Undead or immune, ignores armor. Brimstone Bane, deal 25% damage to brimstone enemies. Okay. So it's, it's a trinket that's a boss killer, basically. That's interesting. It does, t so it would do, what, 250 damage to a brimstone enemy? It's a whole lot. Gambler's Jewels in there, not bad. Don't have much, don't have anything to sell yet, do I? No. Tempting to, I'm tempted to, if I could, I'd want to buy the... The Reaper's Arrow, because I, th I think that when I kill 15 enemies, some scenario might spawn as a result. And it might have a brimstone enemy in it. In which case, I'd want to defeat them with something. The Underneath. Following Malaclipse's cryptic directions, many of which involve bar uh, borrowing farm animals, you arrive at the edge of a vast and lonely lake. There, you uncover a cave entrance blocked by a stone door. Shit. It might be the same scenario we encountered during Malaclipse's story, though. It just seems like it's just the underneath all over again. Which means a few merchanty things, stuff goes on. We need ten food to even get in. Borders move when power is placed upon them. Can you hold that power back, or will it fall with you? Raider prevention. A peasant approaches you and says, Great warrior, our village has become a regular target for the northern raiders. They've set up a camp near our village. There's no need to kill them all. If you incite enough fear, they will leave us alone. We have little to offer, but I'm sure we can find something to give you for your troubles. Ten enemies. That's a good start. You sneak up to launch the attack. Well, if I get ten kills, and then that's two-thirds of my path already. I'll be happy with that. Is there going to be a time limit? There is. Defeat many. <laughs> if we must stop, so beat. Defeating many in only 40 seconds might be hard. But I'll try. Oh. No, I got hit. Here, I'm trying to use my bonus against them. Just trying to do enough damage in time. Come on. No, hit the one I've hit. God damn it, hit the one I was fighting. So I'm trying to chain hits on that dude. There we go. I hit. I killed like half of them. That's not bad. The short time limit. You tell the peasants the cowardly northern raiders will not bother them any longer. The villager offers you a small boon for ridding them of six raiders. Ooh, six. I did, I did good. But all they gave me- oh, my only reward was a healing potion? That's not a good. A healing potion's not good at all. Damn it. Anyway, this is probably gonna be our last run of doing the, the card maintenance. We'll be, we'll, after this, we'll be so far along that, like, I've basically discovered everything, and I'll go back to doing actual challenges again. Unless I die abruptly because this questing mace makes me fight Cthulhu or something. And then it's like, well, I only discovered three cards, but pretty much the entire deck is new cards, and then there's, like, none left. So this run should should show me all of them, basically. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Wow, he really just ran at nothing. What a jackass. He he they need they need to patch his AI so he'll actually target somebody with his attack instead of just running at nothing. Cause it's like what what's the point of him if he attacks no one? Got him.
Allies return. Revive your companion at the beginning of each new map. Not bad, but I've only lost my companion like once ever, I think. When we, when we didn't understand the mechanic yet. Food! All this free food means I don't actually have to worry about any of my resources. Which is why I keep doing this run. For better or for worse, the northerners understand these lands better than most. Wandering Tracker. One day you meet a northerner displaced from her homeland by warfare. She explains that she is a tracker for hire, working for those who can pay. She speaks at length about the nearby terrain. That's not bad. Oh, just one? Maybe it's not that good. For five gold, do you want me to take you directly there now? Um... I want to say no because I don't care, but let's say yes in case she... Because sometimes these people, like, freaking curse you for not working with them. You pay the gold and set off at a brisk pace. Brawling on the street for money. These are actions I'd expect of the usurper, but from you, I had hoped to see better. She's at least, she's at least interesting, so she reveals probably one random card on the entire board, but then if you pay five gold, you can actually teleport there, which could be a, a huge deal for some levels. One day you come across a bare knuckle competition in the alley. An old man with few remaining teeth notes your interests. You can fight northerners, empire, or thieves. When choosing your opponent, remember that your purse, if you survive, will depend on how quickly to beat them. Always northerners. You gesture at a group of northern captives. The northerners are supposed to be this constant menace and they're so dangerous, but they're like the least dangerous of all of the variants of enemies that this game actually has. I guess the corrupted are less dangerous. The corrupted are pretty easy. Two minutes. Quickly. Got him. Got him. Oh god. God. No. An attempt was made. Oh, he's dead. Ah. Ah. Hello. Wow, I'm gonna beat this one handily. That took like 30 seconds. That finisher, if you can get to it in time, really pushes things forward. Alrighty then. The questing mace. Ah. Well earned. That's it. I would never believe it possible had I not seen it. The organizer gasps. Take your earnings, great champion. You gain a fame. The Golden Shield. Again. Alright. It's worth something at least. Gain one from two. Ooh. Reaper's Arrow sounds fun. Rather disappointed by the fact. Of assassins, and now in your hands. That's really powerful. Huh. So it didn't summon a scenario like I was hoping. It just plopped a token into my thing. Did I just upgrade the questing mace with a better weapon, or did I unlock the challenge from the forest? I got that from the forest, didn't I? And I didn't get a follow-up scenario for the forest unless I'm missing something or, or skipped something. I don't know. Revenge. A motive I support wholeheartedly. I do have a blessing. Pretty much all of his required blessings. I really should have probably put, uh... The guy that sells you blessings in the deck. The pitiful emptiness of Clan Eyebright becomes even more apparent when you walk through the bustling northerner village. Children run past, laughing, and you can smell the warmth of bubbling honey. Your companion ignores all of this, his usual forlorn blank expression, replaced with fury. He soon finds what he's looking for, a warrior, larger than even the... than even the hulking Kolbjorn, clad in armor of blued crystal. Hey, it's a thing that I can use my thing on. That sounds fun. Is it equipped right now? It is. Rogvir, Kolbjorn roars. The scowl turns around, eyebrows raised. I have come to seek revenge for Clan Eyebright. You burned us to the ground. Not even the children were spared. A few Crowfoot villagers cover their mouths in horror, but most look on, unsurprised by this revelation. <laughs> the scowl of, Cl of Clan Crowfoot grimaces. Clan Eyebright stood against the orders of the High Priestess. 
Bolbjorn draws his weapon. We will not join in the bloodbath. The High Priestess wishes doom upon all our people. Rogvir drives his sword into the ground. Godless, the High Priestess has shown us the way and is the true and good to cleanse the lands of the crawling empire insects. What northerner are you if you have nothing to fight for other than your own sniveling life? The scowled thunders. I remember you, worm. When you were asked to lie on your sword to save your village, you hesitated. He steps closer, grinning menacingly. It was you who murdered your clan, not I. That's not how anything works, but okay. Kolbjorn throws one of his mighty swords at Rogvir, quick as a whip. He dodges it and flings a bolus in return. How You can't really quickly, th unless he was already revving it up, you can't really quickly throw that back without, you know, a lot of setup. The cords bind Kolbjorn's neck and arms. How did he surprise you with that? He had those things take forever to wind up. And he topples back into a wait, uh, waiting band of northern warriors. You feel an explosion of pain at the base of your skull, and your world goes black. You rouse from your stupor tied to a tree. The rope bites painfully into your wrists. With bleary eyes, you see Rogvir towering over you. Kolbjorn is being restrained by a good number of northerners nearby. Kolbjorn looks at you, pure, pure fear in his eyes. The scald draws a throwing dagger from his belt and with a, thick, a flick of a wrist, sends it spinning through the air towards you. You tug at your bindings, but make no progress. Fulbjorn hesitates for a moment before closing his eyes and leaping into the path of the blade. The steel blade finds no resistance as it buries itself hilt deep in Colbjorn's chest. Shit. Your mighty companion slumps to his knees, blood bubbling from his mouth. He falls face first into the gold ground, and you know in that instance that Colbjorn is dead. Oh shit, they can actually die. This is what I was worried about. That's what I was worried would happen to, uh... to Malaclips. Except maybe she... Maybe he's not gonna be dead, though. We're talking about the High Priestess and honor and self-sacrifice and, uh... blessings. What if somebody just gets... What if he just gets revived? Wow, you're an abomination of random colors splotched everywhere. <laughs> Visual design. Skald Rogvir, the leader of Clan Crowfoot. Skald is known even among tyrants for his brutality and bloodlust. Tyrants favor regenerative ice armor that stops standard attacks. Use bash to break their armor. And then hit him with, with the, the crazy murder weapon. Wow, three hits was all it took. I'm a little worried that it might hit the wrong guy though. That's a bummer. There's so many enemies that I'm just worried I won't hit the right dude. Ow. Oh. Right, at, I forgot it hits a random dude. You have to get rid of everybody else anyway, if you wanted to guarantee it hits the actual guy you want. Bummer. Joke's on you. Oh, come on, he was off camera, and I can't control the camera, you fuck. God damn it. This game just doesn't have very good combat by any standards, and it's really frustrating when I get hit because like, an off-camera character was revving up an attack you're supposed to counter, but you couldn't see it because the camera doesn't show the enemies. It just floats, it just kind of follows you at this angle at all times, and you can't, you can't point it in a direction or anything, or make it make any more sense. Hey, you. <laughs> Wait, he was still attacking me. I don't think, what? That was weird, he was still attacking me. It totally just kills the boss, though. That's hilarious. Before you can land another blow, you notice the shaman of the of Eyebright Wield crouching in the hills above, shaking her head at you and pointing to Kolbjorn's dead, bo dead body. Knowing little of the old ways yourself, you trust in the shaman and lower your weapon, stating that you will leave with Kolbjorn's body. The warriors of Clan Crowfoot considered their casualties and decide to grant you safe passage. As you drag the body into the forest, the shaman meets you. 
Their blood is not yours to spill. In the dark, the horns and trinkets adorning her furs lend her a demonic appearance. Ask what to do now. Whoa! A moment of silence for a fallen warrior. He was a fine ally. Kolbjorn's sword. Stun Northerners. See, it's a 16 damage weapon. It's one-handed. Performs a powerful strike that causes stunned Northerners. 150% damage taken. Uh, against Northerners, Repose deals 150% damage and, and counts double towards weapon charge? Wait a minute. So that... I mean, so the repost does double against weapon charge, and if you have that one shield, then you get one weapon charge from from the block in the first place. That means you'd get three weapon charge per. And since you'd get three weapon charge per hit when you're doing the whole, like, counter repost process, and northerners sometimes attack three times in a row, which means you'd get all nine charges in one combo. Oh my god. And, oh, wow. This is an angry person weapon. Its objective is to kill 50 northerners. Uh, I think we'll get around to that. There seems to be a lot of northerners in the recent scenarios. Yeah, I'll, yes, I will equip his sword. The shaman draws one of Kolbjorn's swords from its sheath and hands it to you. She gives you a black-toothed smile. He is in there. His breath is trapped in it, and I sp as I spelled it. Ask how to save Kolbjorn. Blood! The shaman flexes her hands excitedly. The North deals in blood and honor. This is all she will say on the matter. I, so, in, I think that in order to get Kolbjorn back, who's currently dead, if I want to hit this companion card to come back, I need to kill 50 people with this sword. <laughs> Specifically Northerners. Wish I had it a little sooner. There's so many recent Northerner uh, missions I went on. And it's a good weapon, too. Uh, am I gonna lose it when he comes back? That, I kind of want to keep it too. Can I, can I have? Can I? Can I have my cake and eat it too? <laughs> Ask what to do with the body. Leave the body. It is but a husk now, and it may appease what spirits are watching this night. Leave the body and continue on your journey. You insist on burying the body first, despite the shaman's protests. How will the birds eat him? She asks. With a heavy heart, you reverently place the swords in your pack and bid the shaman farewell. You leave Kolbjorn to rest in peace, at least for now. And thus an ally is lost. Flesh is mortal and transient. Our mission is not. Now I need to finish the scenario with no companion. Damn. That's harsh. But maybe I can get him back. I think I can get him back. Oh, you're not a real scenario. Bummer. Oh well. I get to test out- hey, I get to work on these, uh, 50 kills. <laughs> I was just hoping that it would be, uh... I guess a new scenario. I guess this is a good thing, though, to be able to use Colby on sword. Well, he seems psyched about his dead friend's sword. Look at him. Oh, he's, hi he's really hype about his, de his friend's death. The swords of your late northern companion. May his soul rest easy. It says swords, but it's only one sword. He had two swords, but that's not what I have equipped. That's gonna feel good on the inside spine. How you feeling? Feeling good? He's not gonna live through that. What an absurdly powerful anti-northerner sword, wow. Jesus. Where have you been all my life? I gotta finish these companion quests. They might have really cool stuff in them, despite the fact that... The problem is they're just... They're, some of them are... They're a pain to do. Uh, especially since I've, like, I've finished grinding my stuff already, and I'm not done with companion quests. That kind of highlights how long it is. It's like... The companion quests themselves are so many uh, steps. Like, so many separate cards you do in a sequence. And on top of that, some of them have roadblocks, like the one, the current one I'm trying to do, ow. The current one I'm trying to do for the captain girl is 
freaking you need to run around with like what 23 food in that and when you happen to run into that I might do that if I, I, I like I could do a run like this where I specifically give myself a ton of food just for that one scenario but usually I'm trying to do more than that like do a whole run it's kind of a bummer when my if I'm only doing it just for that one token do it like it, it, yeah it would suck to do an entire run only for the purpose of getting one token on one card that's not even the actual challenge but just one I, I put in These are gonna hurt. Wow, it's only f wow. Look how look how this is not a what an e what a weirdly easy challenge they're giving me right now. That's just weird. Wow, it was only four enemies with three allies. Don't they know that Northerners are like really inept? They haven't heard about the Empire mission, I guess, where the Northerners can't kill a single Empire guy. I can use Wreath's Ire now. Yay, I won't. But I can. Food. Oh, that means this is the last floor. Worthy hero. Congrats, bro. Go deck those dudes. But only after you can do more things. Too many do not think of what lays ahead of them. After an eternity in a timeless void, I do not have this luxury. Spyglass. The stars shine bright on this cold, frosty night when you happen upon a balding man looking at the heavens through a spyglass. Shit. I just I haven't even read it yet. I just see all the gray and I'm like, oh, I lose. <laughs> he rubs his hands together to keep warm. When he sees you approach, he stares over his spectacles and says, if you have something to keep my ears warm, I will reveal to you, uh, to you your future. So you give away... Okay, so you give away a helm, and you gain probably map reveal, I assume? I probably don't have to test this one again to predict that. Well, frankly, now that I've done it, the tooltip will tell me if it's map reveal or not, and it would, and which is probably the case. This would help all those map reveal scenarios then. I guess your frostbitten ears would be worth it just to observe such beauty. Will you aid the Empire? Leave them lost, I say. Scouting party. You happen upon an Empire scouting party as you cross a grassy hillock. The soldiers are keen to trade information about the region. So I have four revealed cards. I can trade with them, which gives me one revealed card. I assume that much like Cartographer, the amount of things I've revealed will affect the outcome. So if I've revealed a bunch of cards, I can reveal even more, potentially. But that really only... It's basically a scenario that's only useful for those, uh... I mean, it's technically always useful in that it reveals an encounter card, period, so that's fine. But I imagine that's primarily useful for those massive map levels where you're where you're running out on one map the entire time, but which there's like two or three. There's three of those so far. It's the corrupted one, the really min maxi base management northerner one, and the one about the four relics. Great information. You and the soldiers compare notes. All right. Looks like we'll be back in the in, in the capital by ends of the week. One of the soldiers comments as you continue your journey. All right, this is distressed damsel, which I will ignore. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> wow. Come out, boys. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do this. I'll remind you that I need I need northerner kills, and these are thieves. Which I knew, because it's it's a thief ambush, that's the premise. Oh well, they'll be easy enough to kill. Just not with any of the bonus that I get against uh, northerners. Whoopsie! Now. That's a lot of damage, isn't it? Not feeling so good, are you? He probably feels great right about now. Come here. Oh. Hello. 
Wow, it knocked his hat clean off. It went sailing. That's exciting. With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies for things. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of skulls though lately. For your challenge. Yay, all this food I definitely don't need. <laughs> Merchant's favor. I only put this in the deck because I wanted to get this mace, but I, then I realized it was a starting card and then I didn't take it back out. Shit. Oh, now I've got to do a hard scenario f even though I don't want it. Can I quit? I can't quit. Ah. Might as well take a chess piece since I don't have one. I could have taken the hat. No, because I can't redo that scenario. I can't redo that scenario anyway, but the hat would have come in handy. But then she's like, go fight. Oh yeah, you get that one for free. Oh yeah, never mind. It's the I other one where you have to fight. Beyond these gates. I do not recommend it. Your journey leads you directly through purgatory. By the edge of the cave entrance, you meet an old man bundled in rags. He stares at you with milk-white eyes and warns of impeding peril. It will not leave you unchanged, as the favor and ire of the gods pursue all who journey here. Steady heart. Simony remedy. Begging spot. Clumsy. Alone. Woo -hoo. So that's that's two blessings and three curses. Will you take the path that leads through purgatory or take the longer, safer option? Go for it! You traverse the strange and surreal world of the unliving, the, pe the penitent, and the unrepentant. Steady heart. Redu uh, huge failure is considered failure. That just means that if I hit the red, it counts as missing completely. Simony remedy. If you, ha if you have zero gold and zero food at the beginning of a new map, draw six gain cards. Oh my god. You gotta really carefully plan for that to make that work. Damn. That sounds hard to do. Lose one gold every time you starve. All failure considered huge failure. What? <laughs> Wait, did they just invert? It just said that all huge failure becomes failure and all failure becomes huge failure. I believe either they cancel each other out or they invert the two f the two things and I think that's I think they do invert them. Oh no, my companion won't help me. Joke's on you. Anyway, let's end the scenario, <laughs> making that completely pointless. Conflict, once again resolved through the power of arms rather than your cunning. All that, all that hype of curses and blessings, I'm like, oh, by the way, the scenario's over and none of these will affect me in any way. Because there's no gambits to be had. I'm going to deck the shit out of her. Raid leader Gerda. Somebody's gonna take this hit. It was her! How convenient. Oh wait, I don't want to kill her. That ends the scenario. And I've got a, I've got a 50, I've got a kill count to work on. But hey, took out half her health, so that's fun. Wow, that guy's really durable. All oh, right, they're really hard to kill because she's healing them. Wow, they're really hard to kill. Oh my goodness. Oh, I pressed it too fast. I'm sorry, how freaking effective is her heal? All right, well, fuck it. This is incredibly inefficient. Let's move on with our lives. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Ow, I got stuck inside of that. I'm about to die. That won't honor Colbjorn. Oh, it's not over. I thought it was over when you beat her. Oh, well, then there was no reason to even put it off. And now I'm almost dead. Great. Nope. Anyway. 
Yeah. Hey there. Where's your friends now? Ow. Ow. That was a mistake and I almost died. Good job, me. Ow! I was already rolling, you fuck. No. No. There we go. That was... Wow, that got close. And it was all my fault. Because I thought that if she died, the scenario would end, and I didn't want her to die because I wanted to uh, get as many kills as possible. And turns out she is absurdly good at healing because they just straight up don't die. Holy shit. Alright, so if we're doing the questing mace, I get... Questing mace 2. Oh. Okay. We're allowing Colbjorn to fulfill the shaman's will. Colbjorn's sword. Alright. Important detail to check. Is Colbjorn's sword a starting weapon? It is not. So not only do you have to, to, to grind out 50 damage, but you have to do it with a sword you can't start the mission with. Questing Mace 2, what are you? 300% damage to Corrupted. Ah. Damn it. You have to specifically fight Corrupted with it. It's not a lot of them, it's just it's kind of a grind because you have to go do some Corrupted. I might intentionally grind that one out off camera. Like intentionally just go off to fight uh, in a Corrupted one. I don't know, if I do the... if I, tr I mean, I'll, I'll definitely take it with me if, I, if, I, if, we, if we try to do the Chariot again. But aside from that, I don't know. Anyway... That's all the grinding I wanted to do for now. Let's go, let's go try out a new scenario. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Ooh. <laughs> the scenario locked itself. It's locked. <laughs> that was the devil, right? Yeah. Hey, this one's complete more challenges. The devil being unlocked was based on how many companions I had, apparently, or it must require a number of companions. And so it locked when I lost Kolbjorn. Isn't that interesting? Because I have what? I have... I currently have three companions. Oh, okay, so bas basically that one requires you to have every companion. And I, I had every companion, not counting the DLC one, because the dealer was not originally in the game. But then I lost Kolbjorn. Well... We better get that fixed. <laughs>